Gang, how's it going? Happy weekend. I'm um, just going to chat you through your week next week, coming up Easter week. Starting off Monday, benching four sets of six at 70%, then minus 5% for a drop set from max repetitions. Thinking, guys, a little bit of bench volume. Uh, overall, lower repetitions than we done last time, but higher percentage. But I think your drop set would have been your working set from two weeks ago. So with those drop sets, we are looking to push to failure. So that means doing as many as you can. And if you need to get a spot for them, absolutely do so. So let's kind of push the failure on those drop sets and get the volume in. After that, guys, we have a 12 minute arm wrap. Um, it's eight shoulder to overhead. That can be a push press or a push jerk. It's eight burpees over the bar. They're going to be lateral burpees over the bar. 16 double unders or 32 double under skips. Um, good tests of kind of shoulder endurance, shoulder tricep endurance there. Um, we're then going to go on to Tuesday, which is a little bit of a barbell cycling type of day. Um, starting off with a 16 minute EMOM. We would have done this in week one. Uh, for the first minute, it's a row for 200 meters or 150 meters for ladies. And the second minute, it's five touch and go pair of clean. So if you are here on week one, um, have a look back at those numbers that you would have built up to. You do have eight chances on the barbell to build um, and then try and progress on from what you did on week one. You're then going to have an 18 minute chipper afterwards. Chipper means just you, you slowly chip away at the reps. Um, it's a 40 or 30 calorie row, male and female. It's then 30 double dumbbell snatches from the hang. It's then 20 sit-ups and then 30 double dumbbell cleaning jerks from the hang. So again, what we're looking for here is big sets on the dumbbells um, and think use your row as the nice steady breather. It's definitely not one on that row. Um, so yeah, try and break them up. Obviously, if you have to, we'll go for big sets on, um, on the dumbbells. We're then going to go on to Wednesday, which is a shred day. And it's going to have a little bit of a squat bias. So legs might be a little bit pumped. Uh, it's 32 minute AMRAP. We're going to have 24 calories on the bike. You're then going to have a six meter walk and lunge from the board side of the room to the rig side of the room. You'll then do 24 wall balls and then another six meter walk and lunge from the rig side of the room back to the bikes. Um, again, it's just a churn and burn type of workout. Very low skill, so no reason to not be kind of moving through this and thinking the only thing that is going to hinder us there is the wall balls really you can break them up into sets, but try and go for big sets for as long as you can. Um, Thursday, wad accessory day. We do our wad first, we do our accessory after. And this is going to be a partner one to start off. So it's a bit of an upper body bias. It's six rope climbs, it's 12 push ups, and it's 20 calories ski. Reps are shared and split however you want. You could go kind of split them all down the middle, three and three on the rope climbs, six and six on the push ups, 10 and 10 on the cals. Um, you can kind of pick how you want to do that between the two of you. When we do that, guys, afterwards, our accessory work is then going to be um some bicep some tricep and some lat accessory work kind of the muscle groups that we would have been working in the workout so it's a superset for five rounds and we're going to do 16 to 20 alternating dumbbell curls we're going to do 16 to 20 dumbbell skull crushers and then 16 to 20 alternating dumbbell lat raises now given you have a guideline of weights there at the bottom 15 and 10s that is absolute maximum absolutely maximum i know some people will find those lat raises quite hard at those weights you don't have to use those weights but that's just the top tier top end of weights that you should be looking to use friday then and um, we're going for more squat volumes of so four sets of eight again the same amount of repetitions that we've been doing on our back squats at 65 percent and then minus five percent for a drop set so we're a little bit up on the percentage this week and then we're trying to again the same with the bench we're looking to go to failure on the drop set so just increasing on from two weeks ago we then have a interval style workout we have three different five minute intervals and um, each one is going to have a set of toes to bar uh, a run and some variation of a lunge so first one 400 meter run five toes to bar or a variation of toes to bar 10 back rack lunges five toes to bar try and earn your rest there thinking you know how quick can we get that 400 meter run done? Give us as much time as possible to get the rest of the work done. It's then a 400 meter run, five toes to bar, 10 front rack lunges, five toes to bar. And then last section, 20 back rack lunges, 10 toes to bar, 400 meter run. So kind of just changing up that last section, finishing off with the run. Legs will feel a little bit heavy. All anyway, right, that's your week, gang. I hope you enjoy. Uh, look forward to seeing you during the week and have a good weekend.